This is a Columbia Silver Ridge shirt. Has the breathable vented back. The sleeves are roll up and it has the little longer sleeve cuffs get over your hands for sun protection. Marina wool t-shirt. REI convertible pants. It can be shorts as well. Sports bra. Or Patagonia underwears. Baseball hat. Dirty girl gaiters and Njinji socks. The Ultra Lone Peak. With the power step inserts. Here's a look at everything that goes inside my pack. My total pack weight with everything that you see here that goes inside is at 18 pounds, 14 ounces. And that's without food or water. This is by Superior Wilderness Designs. It's a 50 liter pack. Very customizable. I added a small pocket that's separated from the body of it. It's waterproof. You can throw your headlamp or something like that in the back. It's kind of a smaller pocket, but it's useful. Put a carabiner on for wet and dirty socks. This big stretchy mesh pocket. That's where I keep my wet tent, rain jacket, stuff like that. I did this other pocket. This is where I keep my water filtration. Makes it pretty easy and handy to get to. Also added the hip belt pockets. My sticks are the Lecky Cristola. Some duct tape there. My pack liner is just a trash compactor bag. My tent. Is the Big Agnes Fly Creek HV UL2, some poly crylon for a ground sheet, shepherd's hook. It's the tent poles, Z seat, little stick for muscle recovery. My cook system, I carry the Vargo Bot 700, BRS stove. Some fuel, small pack towel, Sea to Summit cup, bear bag line, one gallon bag for trash, a Tokes long handled, smooth spoon, big lighter, Swiss Army knife, windscreen, and a granite gear 12 liter bear bag. It uh, opens across the body. It makes it kind of easy to see what's inside your food bag. Some hand sanitizer and baby wipes. My water filtration, Catadine B Free 1 liter. Small portion of a water bottle for shallow sources. Titopus bladder. A 1 liter smart water bottle. A 750 milliliter bottle with the mouthpiece attached and some hose. And that's on my shoulder strap. My electronics, some earbuds, a few charging cables. This small attachment is for my phone and it can just go on the end of that charging cable. I have the Anchor 13000, an Anchor wall charger with the dual port IQ and this is the ditty bag everything goes in it's by Hilltop Packs. And it's a divided waterproof bag. This side is 
pretty see-through, so if you're looking for something specific, you won't have to be digging through. And as you can see, they're customizable. You can add some pictures on there. There's that cute little Angus Adventure dog. I'm trying to use my phone more and more for video and for pictures, but for now, I'm still carrying the Nikon Coolpix, the extra SD card, wall charger, and an extra battery. Small tripod that can be used both for my camera and my phone. I just bought this lens. This is for my phone. See so the small attachment on the right? That just goes right over the lens of the phone. And then this lens, which is a wide angle hour macro, just screws on the attachment. I have a small Humerus Neo Air pump, and that's battery operated, as well as a Spot Gen 3. And some extra batteries, and both those use the same battery. My headlamp is the Petzl TK Plus with the core charge, so you can just recharge or take the core off and you can use batteries. This is my ditty bag, and everything will go in that Cuban fiber bag. This is a look at the first aid that I carry. A little bit of moleskin for blisters, neosporin, goes bus pays for the Chafing. TT tape, heart speeds, capstick, health clippers, a little bit of stretchy bandage, travel size conditioner for my hair, and a little band. Some ibuprofen, Benadryl, some Pepto tablets, Tums, and some antibiotics. Repair kit for my sleeping pad. A small bottle cap for my smart water bottle. Collapsible brush, toothbrush, toothpaste. And this is going to be new for me this year. I'm going to try this. Uh, instead of having to take my pack off, I'm going to carry a fanny pack. We are going to Vermont this year, so I'm carrying a head net and some bug juice, an EpiPen, some Blistex, small travel eyeglasses, some ibuprofen and bone drill, and a wallet. My camp shoes are the Zero sandals. It's a Tommy copper sleeve and a shop clock knee brace. This is by Columbia. It is a bug jacket. It's netted. And it's also treated. A one gallon Ziploc for dirty clothes. Extra pair of NGNG socks. Patagonia underwear. Tank top and a mid layer long sleeve shirt. Some running shorts. And basically, that's what I'll be sleeping in. My rain gear is by Marmot Precip. I carry the pants and the jacket. And this is absolutely my favorite piece of gear. This is by Eddie Bauer, First Ascent. They don't even make this thing anymore, but uh, it has the real stretchy, larger hood. The body of it is water resistant, and the sleeves underneath have that same stretchy material. Pretty windproof and it's a good mid layer. My puffy is also by Eddie Bauer and it's the 800 Storm Down. And it has a hood. My sleep system is the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 10 degree. I have a Cuban fiber stuff sack for that and I also put my silk liner in there. That's the bungees for my quilt. The C to Summit Aeros Pillow and the Qcore SLX sleeping pad. It's the larger one, it's 25 by 78. So that's a look at everything that I am carrying now. It's not ultra light, it's not too, too heavy either. Four days of food and a liter of water. I'm probably looking at somewhere around 25 pounds. If this was at all helpful for you, uh, give us a like, 
or subscribe if you want to follow along. We'll see you guys later.